The holiday weekend is here and air travel demand is just about back to pre-pandemic levels, but airlines are struggling to keep up. We're seeing long delays, frequent cancellations, and a lot of frustrated passengers. Delta Airlines canceled 7% of its flights last weekend and warns this weekend could get messier. The airline is letting passengers with flights this weekend to actually change their booking without an extra expense, even if the new flight costs more. So if you are traveling this week, Weekend, you can certainly expect some company out there. Michaelia White asked an expert from Denver International Airport how you can make your trip seamless. Traveling can be chaotic to say the least, especially when you're doing it with massive crowds. In fact, AAA Colorado predicts 786,000 Coloradans will travel 50 miles or more during this holiday weekend. That's just shy of numbers last seen years ago. That's going to taper off a little bit the rest of the weekend, but we still expect numbers to be close to 2019 numbers. Mindy Crane, Senior Communications Director at DIA, wants to make sure if you're jetting off for the fourth, it's a sin and she can't stress it enough. Give yourself extra time. We always say to get inside the airport two hours before your boarding time, not your departure time, so your boarding time. And if you do get there early and find yourself just kind of waiting around, there's plenty to take advantage of there too. There's plenty of opportunities to do some shopping, dining, and if you're on Concourse B or C, you can now check out our wonderful outdoor patio, which is a great place to get some fresh air. And then we also have an Eats Delivered program that allows you to order food and have it delivered directly to your gate. So that really reduces stress. You can go ahead and place that order before you even get through security, and then it'll meet you at your gate. In Denver, Michaelia White covering Colorado First.